It was his gift, and he was the best. What I'm saying is just assume that this guy can hear and see everything that you're doing. He's a born tactician. Every move that he makes, it means something. That's a pawn being moved off the board. And if I were you, I'd be looking for the next piece. No, you can't stop him. What's up, people? Welcome to another episode with Supreme Decisions. And as you see, yes, I am outside and I am doing a little filming here at, well, outside of Dave & Buster's here in Houston. Today, I want to have a conversation about USB Ross. And what I want to deal with is the fact that there are means of exigent circumstances where a police officer is allowed to search outside or inside a vehicle without a search warrant. And this case was actually brought up in 1982, but it's a case that still stands today in regards to how an informant can be used to search closed compartments. Now, previously you heard me have a discussion about the case that actually governs the use of an informant because they had to be someone that have used prior and had also found it to be true prior. Now, when you're dealing with USB Ross, it's the case where police officers who have a legitimate stop of an automobile and, remember one of those words, if and or, and have probable cause to believe that there is contraband is concealed somewhere within it may conduct a warrantless search of the vehicle that is as thorough as a magistrate could allow by a warrant. This includes containers within the vehicle. Now, what that means is, remember I told you, whenever a search warrant is issued, it had to be particular in the places and things that is going to be searched and searched for. Even in a warrantless search, there are exigent circumstances that have to apply. And one of those would be plain view. Outside of plain view, they also have to have a legitimate basis for the search. And it has to be a crime in order for contraband. There has to be someone that's in there where this contraband can be destroyed. It also has to be something that is in there where they're in arm's length, which is one of the reasons why they often ask for everyone to be outside the vehicle if there is a crime and they have probable cause. Because those are the biggest words in. You cannot have one without the other. Because just like in this one, there has to be a two part. The stop must be legitimate and they must have probable cause. And in the inst of marijuana smoke, the smelling, the detection, they do not have probable cause with just the smell. Because remember, probable cause is something they can get a warrant for because it's something that is tangible. Remember, these are things that take effect in the court of law. Understanding where they apply and how they apply is what I'm giving you. So I thank you guys for your time. Thank you guys for your donations and keep giving them Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay now, Cash App, Zelle, and Venmo. Let's keep going. Let's keep growing and I'll talk to you guys soon.